This was brought to you by Franklin County Internet Gaming Society on YouTube and Facebook. Dog riding. Halfling riding dogs are hard workers, famed for their ferocity and loyalty on the battlefield. Those stoic animals, riding dogs, hate to be left tied up with the mounts. They prefer to lounge by the fire with their masters at night. In the wild, this is sometimes even a preferable arrangement. However, too much, too much socialization is usually not a working dog's best interest, since it can begin to forget its training. Some masters are permissive anyway and even allow them indoors. Housebreaking a riding dog counts as a trick. Carrying capacity. Light 100 pounds, medium, medium 200 pounds, heavy 300 pounds. DC young slash adult 10 slash 17. Young price 50 gold pieces, training costs 10 gold pieces. Elephant. Elephants are mobile war platforms, smart, patient, and stronger than some giants. And elephants, and elephants, an elephant is often the best conventional weapon on the battlefield. <clears throat> an elephant equipped with a howdah, see above, can hold up to four medium-sized passengers as well as the rider. A common compliment is three fighters with platform or er, pole arms and a cleric whose main job is to keep the elephant healthy. In lands where wild elephants abound, these animals are captured in yearly roundups and trained in in mass for the next season. The carrying capacity light three thousand one hundred and ninety two pounds medium 6,384 pounds. Heavy, 9,600 pounds. DC, young slash adult, 23 slash 31. Young price, 500 gold pieces. Training cost, 40 gold pieces. Llama. The llamas are distant relatives of the camel. They're generally calm, trainable, and curious about new things. They stand about four feet tall at the shoulder and average around 350 pounds. Llamas make excellent pack animals and can also be trained to pull carts. Small riders also find them to be agreeable mounts. Llamas are statistically similar to camels except that they are medium sized to HD and have a strength score of 12. Carrying capacity, light 129 pounds, medium 258 pounds, heavy 390 pounds, DC young slash adult 10 slash 17, young price 50 gold pieces, training cost 10 gold pieces. Porpoise slash dolphin. Aquatic races of all kinds ride porpoises rather than settling the porpoise riders wear sewing twists into the harness. Then they slide loops of braided seaweed around the porpoise's nose as a br bridle and connect these to the harness. This harness grants the same benefits as a military saddle. Her porpoises are an, exception, are an exception to the normal size restrictions for mounts. Thanks to the buoyancy of water, medium sized creatures can ride porpoises. There is no room for passengers. Porpoises become encumbered quickly, so riders try to shed unnecessary pounds. Though distinct creatures, Porpoises and dolphins are similar enough to share the same statistics. Carrying capacity. Light, 57 pounds. Medium, 114 pounds. 
heavy, 173 pounds, DC, young slash adult, 15 slash 22, young price, 100 gold pieces, training cost, 20 gold pieces. Rhinoceros. Many dwarves love the solid feel of war rhinoceros beneath them. A rhinoceros willing to charge enemies only in endears it further to them. A rhinoceros has a nearly prehensile, prehensile upper lip, which it mainly uses for feeding. When training though, a rhino can hold and carry delicate items such as a portion file with its lip. Carrying capacity, light 918 pounds, medium 1839 pounds, heavy 2760 pounds, DC young slash adult 21 slash 28, young price 200 gold pieces, Training cost 50 gold pieces. Animal and magical beast mounts. The creatures are enough like normal animals that they generally make good mounts. However, they also require special consideration in training and care. Taking a friend along. For simplicity's sake, you Position a rider on the rear square of a horse, taking up two five feet, five foot square squares. However, sometimes a horse has a rider and a passenger. Really, big mounts can have a rider and a whole group of passengers. What then? A rider is the person in control of the mount, or at least the one trying to control the mount. A passenger is anyone else traveling on the mount. Any time a passenger must occupy the same five foot square as the rider, he or she cramps the rider's ability to do much other than steer the mount. Ride checks have a negative five penalty under these circumstances. In most cases, the rider has the seat furthest forward or position for best visibility for for best visibility for exotic mounts assume the rider occupies the square closest to the creature's head other passengers sit behind the rider if every passenger has his or her own square on the mount the rider doesn't have to be crowded passengers who want to fight rather than simply hold on must make a ride check dc5 Failure means that the passenger may not attack and can only hold on for that round, regardless of where passengers sit. Normal combat penalties apply for using ranged weapons from a moving mount. Passengers with the mounted archery feet gain the benefit of the feet. Other feats that have the ride skill as a prerequisite may only be used by the rider, not passenger. Blink dog riding. Halfling pal paladins who call for a mount have occasionally been rewarded with a willing blink dog, which gains all pa pa paladin mount abilities but retains its higher intelligence. Blink dogs have also been known to serve other good masters who have done their packs a great service. Over time, a blink dog mount begins to think of its associated adventuring party as its new pack, and it occasionally tests some members of the party to find dominance. A blink dog always considers its rider to be the pack alpha. If a blink dog's rider wears a ring of blinking, the dog and ring attune to each other through a sympathetic magical effect so that the dog and rider blink in unison. No effect has been discovered that allows a blink dog to teleport with its rider using dimension door. However, blink dogs and their riders often develop flanking routines and quick and quick getaways with 
you know, that make good use of this ability. Carrying capacity, light 99 pounds, medium 198 pounds, heavy 300 pounds. DC, young slash adult, 22 slash 29. Young price, 10,000 gold pieces. Training cost, 1,000 gold pieces. The Inanicus Mega Raptor, or slash Mega Raptor. Those, no, these dinosaurs are favored as mounts by remote barbarian tribes. Capturing one's mount is often a rite of passage into adulthood for young members of these tribes. Since these creatures are difficult to train in adulthood, the rite usually involves uh, no, revolves around stealing eggs. Facing adults or a pack is sometimes used as a test of a stranger's worthiness, though. The Dionacus is normally a single rider creature but it can easily carry a passenger. The Meg Megaraptor is a rare mount, difficult to control. When trained, it can carry up to five medium-sized passengers in addition to its rider on long hunting trips. A common trick rider slash trainers teach their dinosaurs to pack hunting techniques. One or more dinosaurs learn to flush prey into traps set up by their riders. With this trick, the mounts also know how to flank with their riders in combat. Though technically bipeds, because of their build and leg strength, both types of dinosaur have carry carrying capacities as quadru quadru quadrupeds. Eggs and young of these dinosaurs are usually expensive due to the extreme distance and hardships involved in bringing them back from their isolated homelands. When, you mount, when your mount is smarter than you. A fifth level paladin has intelligence 5. Though she is brave and honorable, her warhorse is smarter than she is. How embarrassing. What will the other warhorses think? Having someone who is demonstra demonstratively less intelligent in authority over a more intelligent subordinate can be frustrating for both sides. If the master has a leader feat, the creature naturally recognizes her supremacy and never creates any problems. If not, treat the creature like a cohort who doesn't get get a share of expense. Lawful creatures usually work within the bounds of the relationship, and when ordered to do something toughless, they to reason, try to reason with the master. Chaotic creatures tend to be impatient and rebellious. Good creatures generally play along, accepting the state of affairs as yet another of life's trials. Evil creatures take advantage of the situation and attempt to manipulate a stupid master. Neutral creatures try to make the best of things without doing anything suicidal or blatantly stupid. Creatures with high charisma scores are more socially adept and tend to dip diplomatically redirect attention away from the master's lack of intelligence. Those with average charisma put up with their master's fallible but gossip or complain when the master is gone. A creature with low charisma might sigh loudly and be openly sarcastic to the master's face, but still obedient. Dinonicus Carrying Capacity Light 348 pounds, medium 699 pounds, he heavy 1050 pounds, DC young slash adult 22 slash 29, egg price 10,000 gold pieces, training cost 1,500 pieces. Mega Raptor carrying capacity 
light 918 pounds, medium 1836 pounds, heavy 2760 pounds. DC, young slash adult, 26 slash 33. Egg price, 13,000 gold pieces. Train cost, 2,000 gold pieces. Lizard riding. These carnivorous lizards are almost exclusively under dark mounts, rarely seen in, on the surface and jealously guarded by the breeders, by their breeders. They are so protected because they have sticky pads on their feet that allow them to climb walls, a necessity for getting about in unpredictable underground passages. These creatures stand 4 feet tall at the shoulder and weigh around 600 pounds. Carrying capacity. Light, 300 pounds. Medium, 600 pounds. Heavy, 900 pounds. DC, young slash adult, 20 slash 27. Egg price, 300 gold pieces. Training cost, 1,000 gold pieces. Lizard riding, CR1. Large Magical Beast, HD 2D10 plus 6, HP 17, Initiative plus 1, Speed 40 feet, AC 16, Touch 10, Flat Footed 15, Attack plus 5, Melee, 1 die 6 plus 4, 2 claws, plus 3 melee, 1 die 8, plus 2 bite, face slash reach, 5 feet by 10 feet slash 5 feet. SQ dark vision, 60 feet, light blindness, low light vision. Sticky pads, AL and SV4 plus 6, Ref plus 4, Will plus 1, Strength 18, Dexterity 13, Constitution 17, Intelligence 2, Wisdom 13, Charisma 6. Skills and Feats Hide, negative 3, Listen, plus 3, Spot, plus 3, Multi Attack. Sticky Pads, SP. A riding lizard has large circular pads on its toes and skewed adhesive. No, that skewed adhesive. At will, a riding lizard can stick to any vertical or inverted surface at, as spider climb cast by a 20th level sorcerer. Albert. Only a brave or foolish ride owlbears. Owl bears. Foolishness, at least, is never in short supply. The primary training method for owlbears is pain. Most good members of the common race consider the exercise cruel, even for owlbears. However, only repeated excessive beings have consistently been proven to work. First, to train an owlbear not to attack its trainer and eventually to allow the rider magic allow a rider eventually to allow a rider magic renders an owl bear docile for a short time unlike other creatures though when the enchantment ends the owl bear reverts forgetting everything it learned Regardless of the frequency or severity of beatings, owlbears are incurably hateful and turn on their riders at the first sign of weakness. Anytime a rider takes more than 15 points of damage in a single round, he must make a ride check to control his mount in battle, DC 20. If he fails, the owlbear immediately tries to throw the rider, DC 20 ride check, to stay in the saddle and ignores other opponents. If the rider even falls from the saddle, the owlbear attacks him immediately. Carrying capacity. Light, 459 pounds. Medium, 918 pounds. 
heavy, 1,380 pounds. DC, young slash adult, 23 slash 30. Young price, 3,000 gold pieces. Training cost, 2,000 gold pieces. Triceratops. Working with a Triceratops is all about teamwork. A team of four to six dwarves rear a young Triceratops, usually with magic training devices. It's the only way to consistently get good results. Once the dinosaur is on the battlefield, teamwork continues. One rider sits high on the creature's neck, receiving one half cover from most attacks, thanks to the bone plate jutting up and around from his head. Meanwhile, up to four more dwarves armed with crossbows and pole arms lay into opponents from the beast's back. A howda, a howda is often the use for this purpose. Carrying capacity, light 798 pounds, medium 1596 pounds, heavy 2400 pounds, DC young slash adult. 3641. Young price, 7,000 gold pieces. Training cost, 10,000 gold pieces. Warg. Goblins and wargs are a potent combination, but not the only one. Some orc and hobgoblin tribes have been known to breed large wargs as mounts too. The fact that wargs can speak is often overlooked by adventurers. Their unique howling and barking speech is understandable at greater distances to someone who knows the language than regular voices, and they have no qualms about using language to coordinate tactics and communicate scouting information. Unsuspecting adventurers hear only wolf howls when volumes are being told. As mounts war, as mounts wargs can also convey this information to their riders. This ability allows hand, you know, bands of evil humanoids to appear supernaturally well informed about events around the countryside. Carrying capacity like 258 pounds, medium 519 pounds, heavy 780 pounds, DC young slash adult 22 slash 29, young price 1000 gold pieces, training costs 1500 gold pieces. New mounts, these new creatures can be trained as mounts. Axe beam, large animal Hit dice 3d10 plus 6, 22 HP. Initiative plus 2, dex. Speed 65 feet. AC 14, negative 1 size, plus 2 dex, plus 3 natural. Touch 11, flat footed 12. Attacks, beak plus 3, melee and 2 kicks, negative 2, melee. Damage. Beaks 1d8 plus 2, kicks 1d4 plus 1. Face slash reach 5 feet by 5 feet slash 10 feet. Saves fort plus 5, ref plus 5, will plus 0. Abilities strength 15, dex 15. Constitution 15, intelligence 2, wisdom 9, charisma 6. Skills Hide negative 2, jump plus 6, listen plus 5, spot plus 5. Climate slash terrain, temperature and warm desert and plains. Organization Flocks 5 to 20. Challenge rating 1, treasure none. Alignment, always neutral. Advancement, 4 through 6 HD, large, 7 through 9 HD, huge. The large flightless birds. Now these large flightless birds are like ostriches, only larger and more dangerous. Unsurprisingly, an axe beak's mane 
purpose, main weapon is its axe shaped beak. Scholars defer over whether this is a natural growth or a product of magical experimentation. Either way, it suits the beast's omniv omnivorous diet well. An axe beak can run down nearly any prey on flat ground and can hack away its obstructing growth that small game usually hides in. Axe beaks are attracted to shiny things such as jewelry, spectacles, or eon stones. These no, they peck at them obsessively if given the opportunity, and every breeder has a story about an unfortunate child or noble who was killed or seriously gouged by a curious axe beak. Because of this behavior, cork axe beak riders do not polish their armor or weapons. An axe beak stands 9 feet tall and weighs 400 pounds. In lands where axe beaks are native, they serve as mounts and pack animals as commonly as horses do in other lands. Speed Axe beaks move five times their normal speed when running instead of four times the speed. Skills Due to their keen eyesight, axe beaks receive a plus eight racial bonus on spot checks in the daytime. Training an axe beak. Training an axe beak as a mount requires a successful handle animal check. DC 11, young, DC 18, adult. Axe beak eggs are worth 20 gold pieces on the open market, while chicks are worth 40 gold pieces each. Professional trainers charge 50 gold pieces to rear or train an axe beak. Riding a trained axe beak requires an exotic saddle. An axe beak can fight while carrying two riders, but the rider cannot also attack unless he or she succeeds on a ride check. Because of its build and legs, an axe beak has a carrying capacity as a quadruped. Carrying capacity. Light 198 pounds, medium 399 pounds, heavy 600 pounds. Hippocampus, large magical beast, aquatic. Hit dice 4d10 plus 12, 34 HP. Initiative plus 2, dex. Speed, swim 60 feet, <clears throat> AC 16, negative 1 size plus 2 dex, plus 5 natural, touch 11, flat footed 14, attacks, tail slap, plus 8, melee, bite, plus 3, melee, damage, tall slap, or tail slap, 1 die 6, plus 5, bite, 1 die 8, plus 3, base, slash reach, 5 feet, by 10 feet, slash 5 feet, saves, 4, plus 7, Ref plus 6, Will plus 4. Abilities, Strength 20, Dexterity 15, Constitution 16, Intelligence 10, Wisdom 13, Charisma 13. Skills, Hide negative 2, Lesson plus 8, Sense motive plus 5, Spot plus 8, Swim plus 13, Wilderness Lore plus 5. Feet Iron Will. Climate slash terrain. Temperature and warm aquatic. Organization. Solitary. Pair or pod. 5 through 20. Challenge rating 2. Treasured none. Alignment always chaotic good. Advancement. 5 through HHD, large, 9 through 12 HD, huge. A hypocampus is a thoroughbred steed for the aquatic set. It is prized as an underwater mount and gladly serves good causes. A hippocampus looks like a horse gone native underwater, with colors ranging from black to aquamarine. 
the front half resembles a horse with a short with short hair, except that fins replace hooves in mane. The hindquarters of those of a great fish with scales. The hindquarters are those of a great fish with scales and a muscular tail fanning out into a large fin. Wild hippocampi speed through open water, living wild and free. Though fairly intelligent, they're simple creatures. They enjoy races and displays of strength and endurance. They do not get bored or restless as long as they keep moving and have a challenge or com competition. Winning does not even seem to be the most important thing for a, a hippocampus. Simply striving is their joy. Marathon relay races and long distance scavenger hunts are favorite forms of competition. While they do not take naturally to domesticated life, hippocampi can be convinced that living among an underwater civilization is a good idea. Even domesticated, a hippocampus tries to make a contest out of everyday tasks. If another hippocampus is is nearby to challenge, so much the better. Masters try to discourage this behavior since, since hippocampi can become quite reckless in the heat of the race. Hippocampi speak a quad. Training a hippocampus. Training a hippocampus, a mount, requires a successful handle animal check. DC 22, fowl. DC 29, adult. Hippocampus fowls are worth 2,500 gold pieces on the open market. Professional trainers charge 10,000 gold pieces to rear or train a hippocampus. Riding a trained hippocampus requires an exotic saddle. A hippocampus can fight while carrying a rider, but the rider can, cannot also attack unless he or she succeeds on a ride check. Carrying capacity. Light 459 pounds, medium 918 pounds, heavy 1380 pounds. Monster Mounts Stranger creatures often require stranger tactics to ride and keep them successfully. These mounts can never be left with the stable hands. Coatl even the most powerful beneficent paladins lose their war horses in righteous battles. When such a paladin calls for a new mount to continue the fight against the depredations of the wicked, a coatl sometimes answers, serving as a steady mounted mount and advisor. As a steady mount and advisor. When serving this way, a coatl does not receive a paladin mount bonus, HD, natural armor or strength adjustment. It keeps its natural intelligence, but it does again, but it does gain special abilities appropriate for the level of paladin it bonds to. Riding one of these magnificent outsiders in a Dignified manner is difficult, but well worth the effort. All ride checks, all ride check DCs are five higher than normal due to the coatl's sinuous method of flying. On the other hand, a coatl requires no training and it gladly accepts the role of mount and servant on the battle against evil. Coatl Guadals love to offer their advice or arcana, histor history, nature, or any area in which they have knowledge ranks. Though never intrusive, they like to show off their learning and sometimes offer more advice than is technically necessary. Theoretically, a young Guadal might be given to a respected ruler or temple for training. As parents might entrust a child to be raised in a monastery, 
A brazen bandit might also make her way to the celestial plains and steal an egg. In these cases, a coatl might be trained at a site removed from its native plain. Adults are not likely to consent to such treatment, though, and can never be considered domesticated. Carrying capacity, light 100 pounds, medium 200 pounds, heavy 300 pounds, DC, young slash adult, 27 slash nothing, egg price, 20,000 gold pieces, training cost, 2,000 gold pieces. Dragon. If reared from the egg, knowing no other life, a dragon consents to train. After birth, no amount of handle animal skill can convince a dragon to serve as a mount. Diplomacy is the only way to convince a dragon to serve another creature. It can be several years before a dragon raised from birth is large enough to ride. Every time the dragon advances to a new age category, a trainer must reassert his dominance by making a new handled animal check for every trick she has taught her dragon. Opposed by the dragon's sense motive check. Even young dragons are strong-willed. If a dragon wins the opposed check, it never performs that trick again. Dragons are born more intelligent than some people. Any dragon older than a wormling almost certainly has its own motives for allowing itself to be ridden, even if it's, it is held in check by training. A dragon rider is best served by treating the mount as a partner rather than a servant. The best way to display respect for a dragon is, of course, with treasure. Smart dragon riders provide their mounts with a lair appropriate to their age category and treasure equal to 1,000 gold pieces per hit die of the dragon. This is a good starting point, though the personality of the dragon and the power of the rider determine if more must be done to cement the relationship. Carrying capacities vary widely depending on the age and type of dragon. Handle animal check DCs are equal to 25 plus the dragon's HD. Diplomacy check DC can only be determined by the situation. The price of an egg begins at 10,000 gold pieces and goes up depending on the buyer. There is no open market for dragon eggs. The training cost is widely variable, but never less than 5,000 gold pieces. Dragons can never be domesticated. Galette. Tennis gelatinous cube. Gelatinous cubes are not mounts for the faint of heart or for those in a particular hurry. Bizarre ca cavalry in underdark wars. Gelatinous cubes are used to herd opposing troops and chew through defensive lines or to protect valuable spellcasters after their magic is spent. Cube riders require special guild gear just to survive the ride. The saddle for a cube is a special mage item, an amulet of ooze riding. See the sidebar. The amulet activates a force sphere whenever the wearer comes in contact with the ooze. Then, with some effort, the rider nudges the sphere to the center of the cube and rides safely inside. It takes one minute to fully mount or dismount a gal Galentius cube. Once inside a cube, rider can't be dislodged by any normal means. Ride checks incur a negative five circumstance penalty if the rider is not fully mounted. New magic item, amulet of ooze riding. Anytime the wearer of this amulet comes into contact with an ooze, a sphere of force springs up around the wearer. 
the sphere prevents any contact with an ooze and protects the wearer from direct attacks by oozes. Caster level 7 prerequisites craft wondrous item. Otto Luke's resilient sphere. Market price 28,000 gold pieces. Galentinous cubes are air per permeable, so breathing is never an issue. However, carrying a rider disorients a cube's ability to find prey by scent. Everything smells like food when an organic creature occupies its center. Denied their sense of smell, occupied cubes sense prey solely through vibration. Although cubes are non-intelligent and therefore untrainable, they can be directed. Staring a galantinous cube is an odd art. Taking advantage of the cube's impaired sense, a rider creates vibrations within its mass by banging on the force field or the force ship sphere. With practice, specific vibrations can pull the cube into sensing external movement, thus the cube continues chasing phantom food in the direction of the rider, in the direction the rider indicates. A rider must exit his cube at a decent speed, at least faster than the cube's land speed of 15 feet, since the cube immediately tries to engulf any food that suddenly appears near it. Carrying capacity, light 198 pounds, medium 396 pounds, heavy 600 pounds, DC, young slash adult, nothing slash 29. Young price, 5,000 gold pieces, training cost, nothing. Hira Cosphinx, Hira Cosphinx. These Sphinx look much like griffins, and the two can be easily confused at a distance. A Hierocosphix thinks is tougher and stronger than a griffin, but the greatest difference is its evil nature. The griffin attacks only when riled or hungry, and it makes an excellent flying mount when trained. A Hierocosphinx Hira enjoys fighting for its own sake and is contentious and is a contentious mount regardless of training. However fearsome a foe it may be, a Hira Cosphinx is predictably distracted by the appearance of a Genosphinx. Clever illusionists keep this ace up their sleeves against a rider on one of these magical beasts. Carrying capacity, light 450, 459 pounds, medium 918 pounds, heavy 1,380 pounds, DC young slash adult 27 slash 34, egg price 5,500 gold pieces, training cost 2,500 gold pieces. This was brought to you by Franklin County Internet Gaming Society on YouTube and Facebook, Roger Hansen on Patreon, and Gaming with Infamous on Discord. Thanks for stopping by. Listen to our podcast on any of these platforms. Inker, Breaker, Overcast, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, Spotify. Support us on Patreon. And check us out on Discord. All the links can be found in the video description below. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.